The 66th Annual Grammy Award, an award created to honor the best recordings, composition, and artist, is now live at the Crypto.com Arena in Los Angeles, California. And while we expected some of your favorite artists and celebrities to gag us in their stunning fashions, some looks just really missed the mark entirely. Here are the worst dressed celebrities at the Grammy Awards 2024. Let's get right into the video. First up on our list and starting out strong, she is dancing the night away. We have the stunningly gorgeous Dua Lipa and tonight for the Grammys award, she has on this custom silver metallic long dress with sleeves and a plunging neckline by Courageous and it is reminiscent of this look from their spring summer 2024 collection and you know this is such an immediate no for me. Now. I get the artistic vision of this from the neck piece and her bracelet you can clearly see that it's kind of mimicking or creating that sort of lizard skin illusion maybe she's trying to tell us that she is mother lizard now i don't know that's left for her to you know tell us but mm -mm, the overall execution of this look is something that it's just a failed attempt for me i personally do not love the fit on her and it really just makes me question if she was actually present at the fitting or not because Dua Lipa is a very form-fitting girl she's a very you know custom-made girl and she always comes correct with the proportion but this is really just not hitting the mark for me you know it just really looks matronly if you ask me and also i really do not love that deep plunging neckline it makes no sense in the grand scheme of things and i guess they were trying to maybe keep it sexy with the cutouts on the waist and the plunging neckline but uh, i don't think it really works in this instance honestly my favorite thing about this look will be the accessories and not even the hair because that too looks way casual Overall, this was not a strong life for Dua Lipa and this look is definitely a chop for me. The second person on our list definitely knows what she was made for. We have the super talented Billie Eilish and tonight for the Grammys award, she has on this oversized white t-shirt and baggy pants and she has styled this with a Barbie baseball jacket, a tie and black platform shoes now before we proceed i just need to file a petition to billy to bring back glamour on the red carpet because honestly i don't really get her choices in fashion these days now we get it we get it you are all hey probably the queen of alternative fashion but i really like to believe in the concept of time and place this look is definitely giving me very street style and it's just not very glamorous to be honest so street style yes glamour no maybe and just maybe if i saw her on the streets for like a fashion show or fashion week i would be impressed but on the red carpet of the grammys this absolutely just misses the mark for me and i don't care the hair is a mess the feet is a mess it's just really all messy to be honest so yeah this look for billy eilish is just not really giving what it's supposed to give ultimately it's giving maybe frat boy realness and it's a chop for me i'm sorry up next, she paints the town red. We have the eclectic Doja Cat and tonight for the Grammy Award, she has on this nude see-through corseted gown and you know what i love 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 me some doja but this is just not a great fashion moment for doja. I mean the material of this dress it really kind of looks cheap and the see-through fabric of the dress kind of looks like dirty mosquito net. <laughs> And honestly, that chiffon train, it just really falls weirdly to the ground that it's just not a vision to look at. It's just a hot boo-boo mess if you ask me. Also, the length of that dress is really so horrible. I would have preferred a more to the floor moment because that's just really a weird place to cut off a dress, especially when the dress is a see-through dress. More so, the styling of this entire look is just quite off for me the heels are so atrocious i mean what was she thinking those glasses are giving very school teacher vibes i don't know but this look is just not hitting the mark for me so yeah it's a chop for miss doja for me up next on our list she came in like a wrecking ball we have the insanely talented miley cyrus and tonight for the grammy award she has on this gold mesh short dress my mason margiela 
and yeah are you gagging because <laughs> i'm not <laughs> i honestly thought that this vulgar pick me pick me style on the red carpet was so 2019 but i guess they're making a comeback for the grammy awards 2024 and yeah i really just don't like it I'm, to be honest i really don't like it i also am thrown off with the styling of this the gold dress styled with the yellow palms and that hair it's just really a mix and match of different elements that really doesn't go well together <laughs> yeah just don't have anything else to say other than it's a chop for me up next, he's in love with the shape of you. We have the super talented Ed Sheeran and tonight for the Grammy Awards 2024, he has on this camo illusion two-piece. And honestly, I'd really like to say that I was disappointed. But then again, were we really expecting a fashion moment from Ed Sheeran? I really don't think so. I mean, this easy breezy, never serving look that he always brings on the carpet it's just really getting tired now i must say and i just don't feel like he's trying hard to bring the fashion element to the red carpet and that's it's just what really gets me maybe i'll use this look to get some coffee or fight some war but bringing it to the grammy's red carpet is such a missed opportunity for me so yeah this look from ed is definitely a chop for me next up on our list it's our resident witch from the vampire diaries we have the stunning Kat graham and tonight for the grammy award she has on this white dress with an exaggerated color detail by stephanie roland from their autumn winter 2023 collection and i really don't know about this one i immediately get costume party from this <laughs> honestly it's giving very pop costume realness and i just cannot unsee it now this is really not a dress that i would personally put cat in and this is because she is so petite that it just kind of swallows her up and it's very unflattering to see to be honest also the styling of this of the entire look is such a disaster because it looks very clunky and heavy for her now even if i wanted to style her in this i probably would have had it custom made for her take out that mesh detailing at the side to show more skin obviously and maybe pull her hair up in a bun so that she's elongated and not you know clunky feeling so yeah this didn't hit the mark for me and it's a chop i'm sorry up next we have the dainty and gorgeous olivia rodrigo and tonight for the grammy award she has on this long stoned off-white dress by gianni versace from his 1995 spring collection and although i am super aware that this is an archival piece i really just don't think this eats to be honest it's just really simple and weird looking and it makes me wonder if the dress in itself could have just stayed in the archives and not made an appearance on the grammy's red carpet honestly the dress in itself doesn't have that wow factor and if i did not know that this was a versace dress i would have trashed it to be honest <laughs> i mean the stones on the dress is so scantily placed on the midsection area that it just kind of looked like they ran out of stones and just said yeah we're just gonna wrap this up and that's not a good look so yeah overall i'm really not gagging over the dress or the styling it's just too low effort for me so yeah it's a chop for me up next she is players too we have the beautiful coil array and tonight for the grammy award she has on this black blazer bodysuit combo by saint laurent from their spring summer 2019 collection and i really just have one question for you who killed the grinch i mean it's definitely hard because she has skinned him alive and brought his remains to the red carpet but yeah on a serious note i really just don't think that this look eats i really just think it misses the mark for me it's not really very grammy's red carpet and i guess maybe she was kind of going for a more fashion forward look but it's just a miss for me i'm sorry i love the hair and the jewelry but everything else it's a chop for me i'm sorry up next she is known as the sabi girl it's my nigerian superstar diva miss aria star and tonight for the grammy award she has on this icy blue look and i personally just feel like this look is kind of all over the place for me the structure of this dress is really not giving what it's supposed to give 
and just the overall styling of it all just seems a little too matchy matchy from the dress to the shoes to the makeup it was definitely a match made nothing heaven if you know what i mean the drapings of the jewelry looks like an afterthought it really just felt like they thought to themselves what can we put on this dress to zhuzh it up for the red carpet and they just did that the hair in itself it kind of looks heavy maybe a fringy updo would have been better for this but yeah overall the look is just a chop for me up next we have the beautiful Heidi Klum and for the Grammys she has on this long black dress with silver detailing and I'm just really not on board with this look honestly we know Heidi can do better than this and she has previously done better than this in the past for the Oscars and for other events so this look is just a bit of a disappointment for me to be honest honestly that mismatched nude illusion is an immediate no for me it really looks weird and also I really feel like the fit of the dress on her is a little bit off because the ruching on the waist of the dress that is meant to create that snatched waist illusion is really not doing that it just looks kind of oversized to be honest it looks bogus and it kind of defeats the purpose of the ruching in the first place and i mean black a black dress really uh, overall it's definitely a chop for me all right guys we have come to the ending of today's video in today's video i shared with you my top 10 worst dress at the grammy awards 2024 if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give it a big fat thumbs up it helps me a lot and yeah i will see you in the next video where i recap with you my top 10 best dress for the grammy award you might want to stick around for that one but until then it's bye bye au revoir